got a nice little car boot haul for you. So this is everything I've got from yesterday's car boot. So yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, and it's actually like 7 p.m. It's a hectic day today. I'm staying late just to film this so I can get some of this listed tomorrow. I'm filming this by myself as well, so apologies if it's not great footage. As I'm short on time, I'm not going to add screenshots, I'm just going to go off what I know. So, first up, this was actually off a subscriber, and I paid £5 for a job lot of vinyl. That... I just bundle that in lots of 50 for I think 19.99 or no 18.99 there's probably about three or four lots of that there so there's not much money in it but it was from a subscriber next I'll get this out of the way actually so I paid 110 pound for all of this all the birds so taxidermy I'll do really well on. I'm going to put this stuff in the shop. So there's two pigeons I believe. Let's just say £40 each on the pigeons. This here, don't know what this is. Some sort of bird. Let's say 70 this I think is a um, ah, a heron. I could be wrong. Anyway, it's in a um, glass cabinet. I'm gonna aim for like two, maybe even three hundred on that in the shop. So there's about four to five hundred pounds worth of taxidermy here from a hundred and ten pound. So that is pretty nice. Can't wait to get them in the shop. Just move these here out of the way. Hmm. Don't know if you want a closer look at any of this. Don't even know if you can see that, so I won't bother with that. And I've got this, it's just a big tub full of vintage Golden Virginia backy tins. Five pound for the lot, I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably job lot it and get like 30 to 40 pound, but I reckon you could potentially sell each one for a fiver. If they go as large letter, I doubt they will, but if they do, I'll probably sell them singly, do a multi-quantity listing. Otherwise, that's a job lot, 30 or 40 quid. Then, so, there was a house clearance guy, and he had loads of stuff. So the majority of this came from one person. And I got the whole lot in a job lot for, I think we agreed in the end, for about a hundred and... He wanted 150, I said 100, and then he, f he ended up sweetening the deal by adding in some other stuff. So I ended up paying the 150, but he threw in some other bits. I'm just going to show you everything that was included in that deal for 150 quid. Now, you probably can't see on camera from there, but there's a stack system, Technic stack system. So that is the stack, there's four parts, there's, so you get the cassette deck, the tuner, the amp and the CD player, I'm going to part it out, there's no speakers, no remote, I'll test it, then I'll part it out, so I'll sell the tuner and the amp together for 60 and then the cassette deck 25 30 and the cd player again 25 or 30 quid then 
we got this in the same deal. It's house clearance, guys, so obviously you're going to have to um, test everything, and there's probably going to be stuff that don't work. So this is a M Audio like key station, like keyboard. I haven't looked into this. Lit this is literally just come off the van today, and I'm doing a video for you. Staying late. So this was in that deal. If it works, I would say anywhere from fifty to seventy-five. If it doesn't work, twenty. 25 for parts I don't like selling stuff as parts because you you sit on it for so long this is just some more tins I was included in this lot then we have this vintage metal singer is an electric one if that works Bare minimum, 50 quid. Again, a hand crank singer. As long as it works, that'll be 50 quid minimum. So again, this is another singer, singer, minimum, if it works, 50 quid. But again, if they don't work, you sell them as parts only for 20 or 30 quid. You sit on it a while, but you can sell these off. So that's like 20, maybe 25. Then we have... Another one in here. I'm not going to open it, but obviously there's another sewing machine. 50 quid. Again, these, this has been very conservative. So you could potentially get 75 to 100 on some of these, but let's just say 50 quid each. So it's 200 pound there just in sewing machines. Whoa. Then, these here, I get anywhere up to a hundred quid for these, if it's got all the, the bits with it. This hasn't, and it's just the base. But people will buy this as a replacement. So let's just say 50 quid. There's a Vax 2000. There's one. I actually had three of these. Don't know where the other one's gone, which tells me I've left it at the bloody car boot. Oh. Then this one is the number one. The this is a different one. Can't see a modern number right now. But again, that looks a bit older. So let's just say 30 to 40 on that one. This vintage lamp. Been mid-century, so so long as that works. Again, like I'm still in this stuff that I paid 150 quid for everything. If that works, that's 75 quid. And normally they unscrew, so you can get them smaller where you can post it. What else came in that deal? This here is a Sony Trinitron. I'm sorry, you pronounce it? Yeah, color TV, as long as that works. That's a 50 pounder. Oh, it turns out some of the Hoover parts are here. So I might be able to get about 75 quid for the Hoovers. I think there's only one batch here. So yeah, one of them Hoovers could go for 75 to 100 now.
And in here is literally it's just filled with golf balls. I paid six pounds, I think, for that whole bag. I sell lots of golf balls, and so I'll do a batch of 50 and sell them as practice balls. And I, oh, it's been a while, because it's been winter, I haven't sold any over the winter. But I think it's 15 pound for 50 that I sell, and that's like cheap. Other people on eBay are getting like 25 quid for 50. Um, but yeah, so that's just a permanent listing. And I'll sell batches of 50 and as they come in, I'll just edit the quantity on the listing. So six pound, so there's probably five lots of 15 pound in there. So what's that, like 75 quid, maybe? My maths ain't great, that's just a guess. Then, also in that deal, was this, an Aquamaster. So I've sold these again for 50 to 100 if complete. This again is just the base only. So let's just say 50 quid on that. Then we have, oh these was in that deal as well. <clears throat> so it's a nice matching pair. This one unfortunately has been rewired this one is not. These are vintage. It's a matching pair. Hopefully they both work. And I'll aim for 50 quid for the pair. The way you can tell they're vintage, normally it's got like a goldish cable, but also it's a brass fitting. The modern ones will be a white plastic or any kind of plastic really. So these are vintage. If they work, 50 pound a pair. Then we got this, which is a vintage Kirby G4. It's got all the bits to it. That is 75 to 100 pounds if it works. When these first come out, they was about two and a half thousand pounds. I think this is back in the nineties. We used to have a salesman. I remember we had a salesman come to our house and to show you how good they were he would pour salt all over your carpet and hoover it up with that bad boy they're amazing hoovers but they're really heavy but people collect them so long as that works i can't see why it wouldn't because it looks really good condition cables all nice no splits if it works 75 to 100 pounds all the bits and that to it came with this but don't he said it was for the Kirby I've never had a Kirby that comes with one of these and it's not branded on it or anything so I'll do further, further investigation but if it's not for that Hoover which I don't think it is I could be wrong but if it's not I'll sell this separately and probably get 20 to 30 quid for this for someone who will want one of them for their own hoover that's a that's a cheap replacement and that's the other bits to it so again if that doesn't work you can just part it out like take the bag off the front end off sell all the parts you can strip it down people will buy the replacement parts now i think that, right, that is everything that was in that £150 deal. I was worried, you know, thinking, oh, I've probably paid a bit too much. So long as the majority of it works, I reckon I'm going to get 500 plus. I know I'm going to get 500 plus because I'm good at what I do. Then... I'm not going to pick, yes I am, yes I am. <laughs> this is a heavy, heavy cast iron fire basket. Oh my God. Oh. 
and it comes with fire dogs. Now, this fire stuff, it sells like hotcakes. Maybe not for everyone, but for me, I do really well with fire stuff, always have. I paid 20 quid for that, and this is off a guy that prices this stuff and he does not budge. So, I paid the 20 quid, and I reckon I'll get £100 for that. Sometimes you can get more. I'm yet to decide whether I part it out and sell the fire dogs as a pair for anywhere from 30 to 50 pounds and then the basket on its own for 100 pounds or job lot it, make it more attractive and just sell it as a job lot for 100 quid. But I would do my research and see what other people do. I'm willing to post that as well. Then we have this, which is a Brum Reseller Special. He gets these in. Um, I've, I've had one in before, maybe two in, but they've normally always got punctures. These have not got punctures. They're flat, but you can feel there's still some air in it, which is good news. You can actually post these if you unscrew the handlebars. He had 25 on this, I offered him 20, and uh, he took it. His stall, there's people crowded all around it, and I've seen this because it was brightly coloured, so I just quickly like, went in, just went, would you take 20 for that, yeah? Reached through, so there's people here, just popped my arm through, gave him 20 and took the bike. They was too busy focusing on what he was putting on the table. So I sniped this little bad boy. £20, easy, easy, £100 for that. I've sold them for £100 where they've had both punctures and one of them, the last one I had, not only had both punctures, but the nut was rounded off. So you, you need an angle grinder to get it off. And still sold for 100 quid. So that's easy, 100 quid for that. Easy, easy. And then, I right, you got this off my sponsor so who I buy the boxes off I bought this off him he sells it on Amazon um, I paid three pound there's not much money in it probably like 15 quid but it was um it's my sponsor and the just keeping him happy you, you know so on that note, I'll show you a little clip of where I buy my boxes from. I just want to say a big thanks to SW Resources, my cardboard box supplier, for sponsoring these videos. So these are the boxes they supplied me with. These are maximum medium parcel size for raw mail and parcel force. They're very good quality use boxes, double walled, thick, strong, I use them myself, I've got another stack over there, they're very good, I love them, I'd highly recommend them, and on their website, which I will link down below in the description, they have also do um, many other sizes, and uh, I think, I believe they even do brand new boxes as well, so get yourself on over to the website which I'll link down below and grab some boxes and as you can see they are double walled nice and strong and if you use my discount code recovered riches 5 all in capital letters for five pound off all products or recovered riches 10 all in capital letters for 10 pound off all products and recovered riches 15 right there for 15 pound off all products i will link everything you need down below that will be the a link to his website and also the discount codes hit that subscribe button next right over the years 
Whew. The amount of times I have saved up Harry Potter books just to make sets. And you finally get a set, you list it for 50 quid. And I've had a set here listed at 50 quid for probably two years. I don't know what the hype is about Harry Potter, but they never actually sell for me anyway. So on the load that I saved up over the like last six months or whatever, I'll just job lot of them or let another reseller deal with it. And now you're probably asking why I'm picking them up again. Well, some of them, so like this one here, the Chamber of Secrets, the Philosopher's Stone, I've got two of them, and Prisoner of Azkaban. These ones are the, like the harder ones to find. So these are actually worth selling on their own. I paid probably 50p each for these. So Philosopher's Stone, five to 10 pound. About five, six pounds for the Prisoner of Azkaban. This is all off the top of my head. But I know that you can get that because when I've needed to complete a set desperately, well, not desperately, I've just couldn't be asked to wait until I find them. I buy them on eBay and that's the prices I pay. So another full of the stone, five to ten pounds. And then trade my secrets, five to six pounds. But 50p into that, that's what, ten times in your money, isn't it? Nothing to be sniffed at, boy. Then we've got these Alpine Star um, mold bike boots. These are nothing special, they're kids. So, what size are they? Uh, does the sizes in them. Um, so it's a US size 6. So I believe that might be a size 5. I paid, she wanted 15, I said 10. We settled on 12. The brand is what sold it to me. So even though they're a kid size, it's the brand. So £12, I'm hoping to get 30 to 40 on them. Calm down. Then we got a puzzle caddy. £2 I paid, didn't haggle, said how much, £2. That's going straight in my basket. And I get 25 to 30 quid for these and they don't hang around too long. It's just a little board you uh, put your puzzles on. Then we got some Nike Air Jordans or Jordans. Paid five pounds on these. I don't know if they're legit. They feel legit. They look legit. The tag looks legit, but on the front, on the tag, on the tongue, you can't really see it, but it says, Jump Man. To me, that just feels like knockoff, but I could be wrong, they might all say that. But the tag looks so real. But before I list them, I'm going to obviously research and make sure they are genuine. £5 paid. If they're real, £30. If they're fake, donation. Then the same lady had, was it these? Yeah. She had these ones here. I'm not even going to attempt that name. But they're Nike sock boots they're the astral turf ones Ooh. three pound with no research 15 to 20 on them they'll need a wash all of this stuff will need cleaning testing you don't just send it out as is <clears throat> again pair of new balance football boots these here Vizaru could be murdering that name. These are a a 10.5. Three pound paid for these. 20 pound for them. No research, 20 pound. And the same person 
So they all got a pair of Predators as well, but they're still in the car. And I was waiting there and waiting. He was looking through and he couldn't find them. And I was thinking, do I just carry on? Because I could be missing out on other stuff. And then just as I was about to give up waiting, he found them. Pair of Predators. £10 paid. Again, size 10.5. No, they're not. They're size 11. That's weird. Same person. Anyway, £10. So I paid up on these. They could be, like, without researching, £25. But some predators can go for good money. But these just do not look like the type that would be going for good money. Could be wrong. But £25. But because they're predators, they are so fast and they're really good condition. They literally just need a wipe over. So yeah, I'm glad I got them. Because predators, they do sell a lot. The reason I don't research anything at car boot, now and again on the odd item, I may research it. But nine times out of ten, I'll just wing it. And I'll just think of it logically, like, is my money safe if it doesn't work and I'll part it out? If the answer is yes, I'll just buy it. <clears throat> Reason being, if you stood there researching things, you could be missing out on other potential deals around the field. So I tend to, like, I'll literally, I'll give you an example. I walk up to a table, how much does this make? Three quid, yeah, cheers, see ya. How much are these make? Ten, yeah, cheers, see ya. In and out, quick more chance of finding stuff that way plus a lot of this stuff i've dealt with before so i sort of have a bit of knowledge on it so i know my money's safe or i guaranteed to know what it sells for so i don't have to really hang about obviously i, I will haggle sometimes as well but again i'll do that quick so for example these boots how much are these 15 10 no 12 yeah deal job done move on don't hang about don't chat just get on with it. You're there to work. Headphones, £2 a piece. Again, this is from the bloke who prices everything and he doesn't budge, so there's no point asking. I'll just chuck them in my trolley. These are Sony. No research done, but minimum £10. I ain't even going to pronounce this name. Or oh, I might. Koshin Each GS500. £2 paid, tenner, so what's that, £4 into 20 quid, most easy listings. Now we've got these off a subscriber, and they're the same one who I bought the um, records off. I think I paid £4 for these, get £20, £25, possibly £30, size 9, good condition. But yeah, four pound into a fast 25 for them. Then, right, so, don't know if you can see it that well. This is a seat. It's made of copper with a leather top. It's heavy, there's two of them. Plus, a copper fender, arts and crafts era. Now, paid up on this, 20 quid I think. I didn't realise it came on the seats, but when he, he pointed that out, I realised what this was. It's like a club fender. You put it around the fireplace, obviously, but then you can sit on the fireplace, either end of the fender, on these seats. These can go for a pretty, pretty penny. It needs a very good polish to bring it back to shiny copper, but I'm probably just going to sell it as is. Now, these can range from like 200 to like 1500, 2000 pound, but that's more of like the metal gate ones where it's about this high, <laughs> about that high. They can go for hundreds. This one, probably not so much because it's like just a normal fender and then you've got the seats. But 
you can see that it's got a little cut out there so it sits over the uh, the fender I'm gonna aim for 200 and just see what happens who knows I'll do research I may end up aiming higher or I may aim lower but even if I only get 100 quid 20 pounds into 100 but I'm guaranteed to get that because I'll get that for the fenders all day long anyway so with these I'm going to aim for 200 then it came well it didn't come with this I asked for this to be thrown in on the deal because uh, he wouldn't budge on the price so I said oh would you throw these in he said yeah so some brass fire utensils and a cast iron poker stick. Anyway, I love saying anyway, don't I? Anyway, 15 to 20 quid for the set on them. So that's potentially my money back and the brass club fender free. Nice! Then, I got this. Not off a subscriber, I don't think, but it's off a woman I know. Now she wanted ten pound. I'll get twenty five to thirty for this. It's a Le Creuset volcanic orange saucepan or will it pour in thing with its lid. Easy twenty five, maybe thirty on that. So. But again, £10 for just one is, I think, paying up. Because these don't sell fast for me anyway. But she said it comes with a spare lid. So my thinking was, right, £10. That's an easy £10 there. So there's my money back. And then I got that. But I'll probably aim for 20 for that. Take offers of around 10 to 15 So it's potentially 40 around the 40 pound mark from the town then a fire screen now I've tried these in the past and I just could not sell them but so I sold them all to Joe closet geek I sold a job lot of them to him but I'm gonna try and do it again because if he can sell them, surely anyone can sell them. I'm just going to have to price it lower than what I was trying to sell them for last time. I paid three quid for this. So I'm just going to chuck it up on eBay for 30 quid. And hopefully, that means I'll start selling them. But again, if that sits around for ages, I'll be straight on the phone to Joe. Got some more fire screens, mate. Now this one is just a penny skateboard. I paid ten pounds for this. It looks brand spanking new. Never been used. Still got all the sticker and that on it. Nice pink, vibrant colour. And it comes with its box. And I'm not going to open it, but in there is a certificate. And the reason I paid up for that is because I sell these out of the box, used in ropey condition. I literally just sold one today in really bad condition, scratched to hell. And it sold for, I think, 25 I've never seen one in the box and it's brand new and the box it look these look so fancy when they're all brand new in the box when they're out the box used they just I've never understand never understood why people love them so much but now I've seen the brand new in the box with a certificate in that Whew. they look fancy ten pound that's an easy 35 pound there easy but i'm gonna do research and hopefully get about 40 to 50.
Then, I'm not going to show you all of them, but there's a big stack down there. If I stack them all up, there's probably a stack like that. Now, I paid like, I picked these up on different stalls. So, some will be a pound each, some will be 40p each or three for a pound. Some I'll do a job lot for like five or ten pound. And you're probably thinking, why do you uh, buy CDs? Well, they're quick and easy sellers for me in the shop. No research, research needed for me because I literally flat rate £2.50 a CD. As long as they're known like people like Elton John, Mike Jackson, Bob Marley. Honestly, I'll put them in the shop, £2.50 a piece, regardless of what it is, and they sell every day. So they're good sellers for me. So I will pay a pound a CD, bang in the shop for £2.50. So it's easy, easy. But again, man, I got some of these for like 30, 40 P. When I bought them in bundles, they probably owe me like 10 or 20 P. And I'm turning that into £1.50, no, £2.50, quick. So these for me are good sellers. John. From Brown Reseller. You need to get on it, mate. Then, same person I bought the skateboard off. Got these, big stack. It's just professional photographs. They're all signed. And it tells you where the picture was taken. Now, it's got a price tag of £15 for this one. Now at the shop, there's a, a person there that actually sells photographs and he sells them um, ranging from around like the £15 up to like 30 40 some I think are even like 80 90 quid. Now, I've got a big stack here for 10 quid. That's less than a pound each. It's probably like 50p each. I'm going to bang them in the shop for a fiver a pop. That is a good little earner there, if they sell. There's some all different styles, like, they're quite nice actually. Oh, that's quite nice actually. Who can tell me what film that is from? Just done that one. Some of these are doubles by the looks of it. There we go, there. there's another one. I don't know how well you're seeing this. Show you one more Plymouth hole there. Yeah, five pound a pop. They're already in little frames. So that's easily, easily like one or two hundred pound there. That's a nice one that. I was excited to get that one. Now I believe that's everything from the car boot. Apart from this. So I think I paid a tenner for this. Now, I won't bother showing you that, it's brand new and sealed. That's just a Star Wars poster from 2000. Probably a fiver. But, it was these I wanted to get. Just to learn. Now I know some old film posters can go for good money. Now, I'm aware they're in a foreign language. Oh, it's like, oh, that's so cool. Let's see, that, another one there. It's all like Godzilla, Godzilla themed. So I'll have to research them. One of them is Godzilla. And it's just like movie posters, vintage movie posters. Now they would look so good in a frame. So a tenner paid just for education. I'll get a fiver back just on that one. Maybe a ton. These here, I'm gonna research them and see if it's worth framing them up and then putting them in the shop or framing them up and putting them on eBay or sell 
rule as is. Conservatively, I would say that there's probably about 10 posters in there. Let's just say a fiver each. That is 50 quid. But I reckon I could get a tenner each roll. But I'm going to research them because some of these could potentially be 20, 30 pound a poster, especially if I get it framed. But yeah, I won't get it professionally framed because that will just eat into the profit. But I'll just buy a nice frame from like eBay or the shop and just post, uh, picture it and sell it like that. But yeah, that I'm excited to look into that one. So for me, this is not a lot. I haven't bought much. And um, it's again, it's just, I'm having to buy all these big bulky items that everyone else is leaving behind because they can't be asked to deal with it. But looking at it now, I think I've done all right, you know. So hopefully that would um, a decent video. I doubt it will be, I've had to just Pluck this out from here, look, like, there's been, yeah. <laughs> it's been an epic day, give me a break. So anyway, hope you liked that video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.